Hurricane Florence strengthens into a Category 4 hurricane. Welcome to another update from Force 13. This is a life in the system up to a, a few hours ago. And whilst we look at the satellite imagery of uh, Florence, there are currently no coastal watches or warnings in place. And Florence does have a eye. Not sure what size it is at this point in time. And here's the latest Florence, Category 4, 22 decimal 7 degrees north, 46 decimal 6 degrees west, around 17, 90 kilometres east, northeast, and the northern Leeward Islands, 2080 kilometres east, southeast of Bermuda. Maximum stain winds 130 miles per hour or 215 kilometres an hour. Hurricane is uh, tracking northwest at 13 miles per hour, minimum essential pressure 953. And here's the current and track chart on the hurricane from the NHC. A turn towards the west northwest with a decrease in forward speed is forecast to begin Thursday night, followed by a turn back towards the northwest early next week. Now, here's a look at the 50 knot wind speed probability. Hurricane force winds extend outward up to 15 miles from the centre. Tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 90. Here's a look at the 50 knot, 58 mile per hour wind speed probability graphic. And as mentioned, the central pressure at this point in time is 953 millibars. Tropical storm force wind speed probabilities, and that's out to 120 hours. Earliest reasonable arrival time of tropical storm force winds. Surf swells generated by hurricane flows will begin to affect men. Bermuda on Friday. These swells are likely to cause life threatening surf and rip current conditions. Early cycle intensity guidance and a couple of them are indicating or ones indicating Cat 5. And that remains a possibility. Now here's some tracks on the hurricane. And Florence has continued to intensify during the day with colder cloud tops completely encircling a clear eye. Florence appears to be right along the southern edge of a sane or stronger vertical wind shear, continuing to defy the intensity guidance, which has consistently been predicting weakening. The last few satellite images indicate that the eye may be becoming slightly disrupted by the wind shear.
And within 48 hours, or by the 48 hour mark, vertical windshield is anticipated to weaken, which would allow Florence to intensify and potentially regain major helicon status. Now here's a look at the wind shear. National Hurricane Centre is saying there is significant uncertainty in the intensity forecast. A 50 minute bar vorticity, you can see the X uh, tropical storm Gordon, and to the right of the screen, you have uh, France and another area of interest off the African coast. The upper level divergence is a very healthy uh, 50 knots. And the National Hurricane Centre is saying it's far too early to say what sort of impact, if any, Hurricane France will have on the US coast. And this is another look at the satellite imagery of the Hurricane up to a few hours ago. This is one of two. Force 13 will continue to bring the latest information across all systems. And we appreciate the ongoing support. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, which has had a revamp and is still under reconstruction, but take a look. Also, YouTube, of course, if you haven't subscribed, that might be a good idea. Visit Force 13. We're also on Facebook under the same name, of course, and you can like us on there, and you can also follow us on Twitter. Search Force 13 all in text for those. You can also add Force 13 on Skype or my personal account on Discord, Fool13, at extension 9094.